This is still Lion's Den. Suited up and walking into the den is Timmy Tokwe, who has found an opportunity in the health sector he is hoping to capitalize on. Will he be able to bait the lions into investing? My name is Timmy Tokwe. I am the co-founder of Fix25 Nigeria Limited, a software development company out here in Lekki. We provide business automation solutions to businesses to drive their growth and efficiencies. Recently, we discovered a huge opportunity in the telemedicine industry, and we're seeking 15 million naira for a 35 cent stake to pursue this business case. One thing the pandemic has taught us in Nigeria is there's a huge market for the telemedicine industry in Nigeria, and that is exactly why we're presenting WeCare Africa app which is a virtual practice app specifically designed for health, for health practitioners and HMOs for them to streamline their service delivery so that they are more efficient with their service delivery. So we are currently in stage four, early development stage. We proceed, we, we've done our, our prototype and mock-ups and all. So we're currently developing the app and that's exactly why we're seeking these investments for us to develop, fully develop it and get it to market. So we have about 66 HMOs in Nigeria and over 33,000 hospitals. And if we're converting just 1% of that, uh, which is our target audience, we will be able to make over 240 million Naira annually. And being the type of application, being a software a service, we should be operational at a margin of 75 to 80%. We Care Africa app is the product offered by Temu Tokwe, CEO of Fix25. He is asking for 15 million Naira in exchange for a 35% stake to completely develop the app and push it to the market. Paul Owanibe seems confused and wants to get a fix of what the product actually does. I'm struggling with the, the, the concepts. I have significant investments in healthcare in, in two hospitals here, and, um, but I can't understand what it is this does. What, what, what exactly does it do? So, for example, one of the investments we have in healthcare here, there's telemedicine, it's linked to a hospital in the States, um, everything is sort of seamless, there's follow-up. But what, what exactly does this do? More than 70% of hospitals in Nigeria are yet to go the digital route. And why we're making the application widely built is because once we build the application, okay, for let's say Hospital A wants to come on board for this application, we customize it for their brand. So all the functionalities are there already for them to manage their health practice, to provide telemedicine support for them to engage with their patients and also health records and everything. So it's within the app. So, so this is a patient management app, not a hospital management, not medical management, but patient management. Yeah, pa patient engagement and telemedicine mobile. Literally That's just patient engagement, yes? Yep. Have you started deploying the application to any hospital? So we've been presenting to some hospitals. So it's just presentation? We've been presenting now. We, we have the app in development already. So we have developers. The now. app is developed? It's been developed. Uh, it's That's why being developed. Early, early, early development stages. Okay, so so how much money have you put into this swap? Okay, so personally, I've invested um, a lot of my own personal money into the A lot is not a number. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay I've, I've, I've invested over three point something million, right? And what, what's the what's the what's the pricing? How how do you how do you make money from it? So we're looking at a one-time setup fee so that we can set up the server requirements for the hospital because they'll be the one managing it. We're just the technological backbone behind it. So what is the one-time set of fee? 250,000. So that covers for training, that covers for the setting up of the server, the cloud infrastructure. And if they are going to the hybrid way, we, we set up a, a, a local server for them also. That covers for that and our tech support to, to brand everything for them. Timmy Tokwe gets the lions back on track with a careful explanation of the services We Care Africa looks to provide. Now, Dan and Garim wants a diagnosis on the competition before he bites. Timmy Tokwe. Yes. Um, who are your competitors in this field? Okay, our approach is actually different. So what we're building is a white label application we're not competing in that space. We're, big, we're, we're, pro, we're, we're, we're developing the technology backbone that we're marketing to these HMOs and hospitals directly. So in this space, none for now. Okay, I'm trying to understand 
what um, market segment you're trying to address. Because as far back as 10 years ago, most of the hospitals were already doing everything online. And people who have <laughs> investments in that industry are already telling you that it exists. Yes, it does. It does exist. So what's, what's, what's fantastic or what's different about okay. this? Personal example, I had to visit an hospital here in Lekki, Axis, and I can still tell you everything they did there, nothing was computerized, which shows one of the opportunities. I approached the doctor and actually pitched this kind of idea to him, and he was actually very interested. Like, okay, if this kind of platform exists, for us to, for us to, for us to, they can even reach more people with the app. It offers continuity and a lot of other features. It's customized for them. It will be their own branding, their own application, and all. So there is still a huge market there. Tell me, Tope, my issue is there are credibility problems here because, in one stance, you're telling us it doesn't exist. On another stand, within the same time frame, you're telling us you have competition. What that devolves for me is that you haven't done your homework very well. So, uh, tell me, Tope, I'm afraid I won't be going further with this idea. I'm out. Temi Tokwe, um, I think your idea is um, a good idea. I know that there would be lower cater hospitals um, that might need your services. How many of them exist and how many of them would be willing to buy um, from you? Um, I don't, I, I, I can't see. Uh, so for those reasons, I will not be investing today. I'm out. An incorrect diagnosis and lack of resources to beat the competition have made two lions dash Timitokbe's investment hopes. Tech enthusiast Bolaji Balogun wants to examine a little further before deciding if We Care Africa is a good addition to his portfolio. What's it going to cost you to develop this app? To get the product to where it is, I've invested personally over 3 million Naira in it already. And we the, to, to complete your development and also the marketing and all, that's why we require the 15 million. And all these screens are developed? Yes, Figma. We can share them after. Plus the whole um, entity-related entity diagrams and all. Yes, we have all this. Break the 50 down for me. So a bulk of the money is going into marketing okay. and we still have to complete development and also get the infrastructure. I think you have the foundations of something here and um, you know for me you're also you know solving a problem in a critical sector you know in our country um, I would like to make you an offer and you get the entire 15 you wanted but in a different structure um, you know, to what you were thinking, okay? So I will put in the 15, um, five of it as equity, yeah? 10 um, in a pref share structure, so it earns a return, but while you're not generating cash, it will just accrue, okay? But once you start generating cash, you have to service that return. Okay. okay. So pay back to you. Correct. When we get to a certain return threshold, um, I'm very happy to drop back to 35%. So um, uh, how many percent are you starting with? I'm going to start at 50-50 with you. So as equal partners. Equal partner. Yes. The interest rate will be less than 20%. Okay. Is it um, annually or child? Per annum. It's not monthly, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not in the loan sharking business. <laughs> Timmy Tokwe gets an offer. The full 15 million Naira split into 5 million Naira equity and 10 million Naira as a loan for an initial 50% of his business. Can Kiari Booker start a healthy competition in the den by making a counter offer? Can you elaborate on the infrastructure element that you met, said you're going to spend part of the money on? 
Okay. It's software as a service, so we need something that can allow for scalability. So we're we're looking at AWS to for the for the for the infrastructure. Amazon would take about ten to fourteen thousand dollars. Yes, and also we have to subscribe for um, that's O365. Oh, sorry, O365. First, okay. Sorry. So 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 we are now talking twenty thousand dollars plus or minus. Uh, because the, you may also have, uh, th there would be server that would be dedi virtually dedicated and so on and so forth, right? Uh, before you even open the door. Yes. Have you made any pitches to any technology hubs? Be because if you are admitted to your hub, they would provide all of those as part of their investment. And they may take probably 5%. Unfortunately, you haven't yet even have an MVP or mentoring that you require to start some of the nuts and bolts of that infrastructure and for that reason and only that reason i'm out a product not yet available but already hemorrhaging cash makes kiari further decline timitoko's request for investment will paul owanibe be making this a more difficult decision for timitoko timitoko i <laughs> I like healthcare. I like technology. Um, I just don't have Bology's faith in in this penetrating the healthcare. So I'm 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 struggling. I'm struggling. How will you make it work? <laughs> um, I can tell you, software as a service is actually very huge. You you operate at a very high profit margin. Once you're able to, once you break even, it's it's a lot of potentials. Tell me, talk about, uh, I'll give this one a miss. I'm out. A fourth blow as Paul Owanibe passes on the offer, leaving Bolaji Balogun's 50% equity offer the only one on the table. Can Temitokwe shake off the blows he's received so far and record success in the den? Is there any wiggle room? Look, my, my, my view is it's, I think you have, you know, a decent offer. I'll get you back to, you know, your 35% if you do well and you make money. Um, and if you don't, you only owe me 10 million naira. Can I owe you five million instead? No, that would be charity. Okay, uh, why do we make it 50-50 equally? You invest 50 as equity, then the other can be structured that way. I wouldn't do it. Thank you very much for that offer. I'll be willing to work with you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Well done. It's success in the den for Temitokwe. He gets the full amount he's asked for, an alliance with the technical know-how to dispense We Care Africa across the health industry. It was intense in there. I'm able to work out with a deal, and I'm excited to go on this journey. Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Echobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner.